The Lower Greensand Group is a geological unit, which forms part of the underlying geological structure of southeast England. South of London in the counties of West Sussex, East Sussex, Surrey and Kent, which together form the wider weald, the Lower Greensand can usually be subdivided to formational levels with varying properties into the Atherfield Clay Formation, the Hythe Formation, the Sandgate Formation, and the Folkestone Formation. In areas north and west of London, including Cambridgeshire, Bedfordshire and Buckinghamshire the Lower Greensand is referred to as the Woburn Sands Formation. Lithology The lower greensand typically comprises loose, unconsolidated sandstone termed rubblestone, rubble in construction and sands of varying grain size with subordinate amounts of siltstones, mudstones containing smectites and similar and limestones. In the weald of East Sussex the lowermost part of the group is recognized by green gorkinitic clays with a basal bed of phosphate nodules. These clays are overlain by green sandy clays and silts and finally homogeneous fine grained sands. The sediments are noted to become increasingly fine grained and glauconitic to the east. <laughs> <laughs> Deposition The Lower Greensand Group and the Woburn Sands Formation were deposited during the early Cretaceous period, which lasted for approximately 40 million years from 140 to 100 million years ago, also described as, "...of Aption to Early Albion". The group is the lowermost of two geological units that take their name from their coloration due the presence of the mineral glauconite, the other being the Upper Greensand. Engineering geology The Lower Greensand is one of the most landslide susceptible formations in the UK which to the year 2000 had at least 288 known occurrences in southeast England. Of the formations within the lower greensand, the Atherfield clay is the most prone to landslip. A common geomorphological feature at the base of the lower greensand is an escarpment, where the hide beds overlay the Atherfield and Weald clays, which is particularly susceptible to landslide. Most slip progress is attributed to massive sandstones overlying weaker shales and clays. The back part of the slip in some locations moves vertically downwards on a rotational slip plane. This movement leaves a steep back face, or back scar, with a toe raised to a significantly lesser extent. At the roughs in Kent, where a rotational slump occurred, slips in the Atherfield clay have undermined sandstone blocks of hide beds. Subsequent translational slides have developed along a shear zone at the boundary between the slip material and the undisturbed underlying wheeled clay. This sort of rotational slip occurs regularly along the coastline between Hythe and Folkestone. See also Greensand Ridge Greensand Hastings Beds Ashdown Formation Wadhurst Clay Formation Geology of East Sussex Geology of Kent Surrey Hashtag Geology West Sussex Hashtag Geology <laughs>